You're about to watch the Polly Detmerts channel. Enjoy. Welcome to the third pizza of the week. I'm Polly Detmerts. And what are we going to do for this pizza of the week? We're going to do a mix. That's right. We're going to do this. The, the Lalo. And if I'm saying that wrong, it doesn't matter. I'm American. I can say it however I want. Yeah. This, this, this mix looks pretty good. It, it, there's enough here to make four small or thin crust pizzas or two thick crust. There is zero, zero flour in this mix. Yes, it did cost more. I can't remember how much. Uh, I've had this for a little while. I've been wanting to do this for you all, the best subscribers on YouTube. Now I know this one's going to be, I, I have no clue really what it tastes like or anything like that, but I know this is going to be much better than the Betty Crocker or Pil Pillsbury Pop and Fresh Boy pizza mix. Okay, so yeah, three easy steps. Just add water. Sounds like one step to me, but yeah, let's get into it. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the Michigan State garb. They won a game. They are my second team. If they play Michigan, I can't stand them. <laughs> Nicely packaged. Oh, let's put it these. <laughs> Where is this yeast packet? Oh, there it is. Right there. Whoa. So, yeah. Just mix it all up in one and a quarter cups of water. Zero zero flour, the best pizza flour there is. It smells like zero zero. Okay, here we go. We're gonna dump some. We're gonna dump it all in. One and a quarter cups. I'm gonna slowly. That's something I learned in my kung fu class. Pizza of the week. <laughs> Let's get it in there. Zero zero flour. It costs more than other kits. It might be the way to go. It just might be the way to go. And just for your information, Spot died. Um, so I got a new pet. This one's name is Fido. Okay, it's been exactly 45 minutes. Has it doubled in size? Eh, good enough. Let's put it away. Let's leave that label up, up on top. There we go. I don't have much food in here, do I? <laughs> it don't matter. All right, uh, it's Wednesday morning, and here's the dough. We're gonna take it out. Take a look at it. Yeah, started up the wheel prep pizza oven at about 6.35. Dough is ready, and I haven't even had the morning coffee yet. You're watching the Polly Detmerts channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The wheel prep pizza oven looks poised and ready to take on some pizza dough. It's been warming up, yeah, for about 40 minutes. Kind of a small pizza, but that's okay.
Yeah, not bad. Really kind of hard to record and work on this pizza at the same time, but I'm doing it for you, the best subscribers on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done. Well, I should say, she done. Let that one cool off. I'm gonna make another one real quick. Let this thing recover. Nice thing about this peel with these holes, it kind of knocks off that excess of flour. I think I'm gonna declare this one done. Yeah. Oh yeah. She done. sun-dried tomato, lightly cheesed, and lightly sauced. It's cold already, but this is more about the dough than anything else. Little lady says, your pizzas all look the same. I go, well, it's, it's about the dough, and it's a kit. I'm definitely gonna make some different looking pizzas here in the future. For a kid, though, amazing. Let's try the other one, which is bigger and thicker. Here we go. Very nice. Um, yeah. Amazing, really. For a kit, it is perfect. So far, it's the best kit, pizza kit mix that I have found or tried ever. Dilelo. That's how I say it. <laughs> it is a product of Italy, and I'm yet to try the Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Thank you for watching, Paul.